Oh, I just finished a video and unfortunately the audio was no good. So I'm redoing this video. And the way that I did the last video was I turned on the camera and without making a list, without thinking, I grabbed a pen and paper live and just came up with my top 10 most influential blues harmonica players list. Again, this list is personal to me. Um, they're the people that were most influential for me in the world of blues harmonica. Um, so I did write down the names in the process. So I'm just going to go through that list that came up organically. I felt it was a good idea and it was important to do it without analyzing and making the list ahead of time. So again, this list comes from a video I just, I just finished and I got to redo, but here's the list that came up. Um, and there are so many other players that influenced me, but th this is the top 10 that just came first players that flooded into my mind. Sonny Boy Williamson II. Each one of these players had something about them that was unique to their style or technique that I, I think of when I play. And, and those guys definitely come into my um, mind and into my whatever you want to call it, musical spirit, whatever you would call that as I'm playing. So Sonny Boy Williamson II, I... I hear his really cool, distinct phrasing and big hand was. William Clark from the West Coast was one of the very top, most influential players on me just because he was so articulate, passionate, creative, and he was a monster player, both diatonic and chromatic. Gary Primich, who I got to meet um, while living in Austin, Texas. What a phenomenal player. He was just super creative. He had his own thing, and he was a great songwriter. Um, Paul DeLay, insanely creative and makes the diatonic sound like it's not a harmonica. If you don't have any Paul DeLay, go get some Paul DeLay. Uh, James Cotton. Uh, out of the Chicago realm of players like uh, James Cotton and Billy Ban Branch, sorry, Carrie Bell and Junior Wells, uh, James Cotton stands out as being the top. Inf Again, all those dudes were influences on me, but James Cotton would take the cake. Um, Kim Wilson. Kim Wilson, yeah. What can I say? I've, I've said a lot about him over the years on my channel. He's just an absolute phenomenal uh, player and a treasure that we have today. Uh, and he's upholding the roots and the traditions of blues harmonica like nobody else. Big Walter Horton, huge tone. Um, I think of somebody just produced the most massive tone with really cool uh, phrasing. His phrasing was also just very distinct. George Harmonica Smith, king of third position and big fat tone for that Chicago blues sound. A guy who influenced many players like William Clark and Rob Piazza. Jimmy Reed. Jimmy Reed, absolutely. Because of his approach to first position and just the smoothness of his playing. He was just one of the early guys that I would listen to a lot. And finding a pocket, you know, I, th I think about him when I think of players that just know how to play that perfect pocket and stay true to the melody lines. And my final one that came up was Charlie Musselwhite. And Charlie Musselwhite um, took advantage of just most creative way of taking advantage for his phrasing across the whole entire range of a 10-hole diatonic harmonica. Um, out of this list, um, Kim Wilson and Charlie Musselwhite are the only living players that I mentioned. Uh, guys that I didn't mention that kind of may or may not be blues-centric, okay, are not blues-focused players. Like Stevie Wonder, I thought of after I turned it off. I'm like, Stevie Wonder. Um, and just so many players from way back, like Larry Adler, and in the classical and jazz world, um, Hendrik Mierkins, and um, there's so many. There's so many great players. So what I would love to see is hit the comments right now and tell me who are who is your favorite player or players that, that just come to the top of your mind. Do it without thinking. I think it keeps it most relevant that way. And keep in mind that the collections that you have of CDs are like textbooks in the world of learning blues harmonica. The more you take in and digest just by listening, the more that's going to come out of you. So I look forward to checking out those comments and I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you soon.